Power tools use many ball bearings to allow various components to rotate. Over time, a ball bearing will wear and begin to fail. A bearing that is failing will usually give warning, often with a squeaking or a squealing sound. Replacing a ball bearing is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the guard and the side handle. Now remove the rear housing. Next, I'll remove the brushes. Now remove the spindle assembly. It's secured with four screws. Now remove the gearbox half of the grinder from the motor half. Now separate the armature from the gear housing. To do that, I need to remove the pinion gear. It's secured with a nut. Now I'll remove the commutator end bearing from the armature. I'll use a bearing separator and a vise to do this. Place the separator over the bearing and tighten it into place. Now I place the separator over the vise jaws and I'll use a punch and a hammer to remove the armature from the bearing. Periodically I'll re-tighten the separator. Now I'll install the new bearing. I'll screw the nut back onto the other side of the armature. This way I won't damage the threads. Place the armature on the flat portion of my vise and then install the bearing. I'll use a socket to tap it into place. And now I can reinstall the armature. Place it through the bearing. As I insert it into the gearbox, I need to reinstall the pinion gear. and I'll secure it with the nut. Now I can reinstall the gearbox and armature assembly back into the motor assembly. I'll reinstall the baffle and then slide the armature into place. And I'll secure the two assemblies with the screws. Now I'll reinstall the spindle assembly. I'll place this spindle assembly over the housing, making sure that the gears align, and I'll secure it with the screws. Now I'll reinstall the brushes. I'll line them with the housing and secure them with a screw. And I'll reattach the lead. Now I'll reinstall the spring under the switch lever and I'll replace the lower piece of the housing. Tuck all the wires out of the way. Make sure the PC board is firmly in the housing. I'll place the wire over the cord clamp. I want about a quarter inch of the outer wire jacket extending past the cord clamp. And I'll place the strain relief within the housing. Now reinstall the trigger paddle. Now reinstall the top piece of the rear housing and secure the housing with the screws. I'll finish up by reinstalling the guard, the flange nuts, and the side handle. And that's all it takes to replace the ball bearing in your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up 